Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today's lesson will be punctuations. Today we'll learn about the main punctuation marks that we find in English language. Let's begin. Punctuation. Punctuation is defined as a set of symbols used to separate and clarify the meaning of sentences and written elements. Each punctuation mark has a specific use and purpose in a sentence structure. For example, you might know full stop, obese period, comma. For example, in sentences, I ate an apple, full stop. She took an apple, comma, mango, comma, and a banana. We use these punctuation marks in day-to-day -day sentences we write. We'll see what are the kinds of punctuation marks that we often use. Full stop or period. Question mark. Exclamation point. Comma. Apostrophe. Semicolon. Colon. Quotation marks. Single quotation marks. Ellipsis. We'll learn these 10 punctuation marks in today's lesson. Let's begin. Full stop or period. The period is used to end all sentences such as declarative sentences, which are statements, or imperative sentences, which are commands. And the period can also indicate that the word is an abbreviation. For example, I will go home soon. Full stop. Mr. M. U. John was my professor. In here we can see how full stops or periods are used in end of sentences or when we use a word as an abbreviation. Now, let's put them into sentences to see how they are used. She will come with me. Full stop. That is my science teacher. He was my childhood friend. His full name was H. G. Harry. Mr. George said he will come soon. You should hurry up and go home. I wanted to get good marks this time. I wanted to speak with Mrs. Julie and Mr. James. There were beautiful dresses and expensive shoes. Now we can see how we use the full stop in sentences. This is a more common punctuation mark that we use everywhere. Now 
Let's move to the second kind of punctuation we are going to learn today, which is question mark. Question mark is used to indicate that a sentence is a question. They ask direct questions which are also known as integrative sentences. They can also express confusion. Direct questions often begin with a WH word. For example, who, what, when, where, why. For example, where is Anna? Question mark. This is a question. Is that your house? Question mark. This is also a common punctuation mark that we use, especially when we are asking a question or sometimes when we are expressing something confusing. Let's check some sentences with question marks. Can you come with me? Question mark. Don't you remember me? Shall we go home and study? Is John coming to the party tonight? Would you come join to play the game? Are those books marked by our teacher? Would you mind me borrowing this book? Have you ever heard of Shakespeare stories? What did you tell as an excuse for not attending? These sentences shows when we are using the question mark. Now we'll move into our next punctuation mark that we're going to learn today. It is exclamation point. Exclamation points are punctuation marks that show a sudden outcry in writing. It is used at the end of a sentence or a short phrase which expresses very strong feelings. They also emphasize a point more strongly than a period or a full stop. For example, oh, that is excellent, exclamation point. You were amazing, exclamation point. This punctuation mark is used to express a sudden thing with a strong feeling. We'll see few examples. Don't yell at me. How does he do it? He is not doing it right. Oh no, look at this mess. Oh no, the reds are in our zone. I have no idea what they think of us. Wow, I really cannot believe we did that. I can't believe you threw me a surprise party. My God, those are some wonderfully great decorations. 
these are the instances where we use the exclamation point in sentences next we'll move to our next punctuation mark for today the comma comma is used to aid in clarity and to join two independent clauses with a conjunction they also are used to separate independent and dependent clauses they also appear in numbers dates and letter writing after the salutation and closing we'll see for each then we are having a direct address Thanks for all your help, comma, Joe. When we are separating two complete sentences, we went to the movies, comma, and then we went out to lunch. When separating elements in a list, Mary wanted the black, comma, green, comma, blue dress. Let's see a few more examples to see where we use commas. He is a strong, comma, healthy man. Jill, who is my sister, shut the door. Did he walk home or did he take a bus? Last Sunday, evening classes were cancelled. I saw that she was busy and prepared to leave. We had coffee, cheese and crackers and drapes. After he walked all the way home, he shut the door. I brought some fruits, vegetables and drink bottles. Joy, James, Vivan, Dave and William went together. These are the instances where we use the punctuation mark, the comma. Next, we'll move into our next punctuation mark, which is the apostrophe. The apostrophe are punctuation marks that indicate the omission of a letter or letters from a word. They form contractions, show the possessive case or create plurals of lowercase letters. They are small punctuation mark placed after a noun to show that the noun owns something. For example, you're not supposed to be here. In the word your, you and are is connected by the apostrophe. They're not here yet. We'll see a few more examples. Who is at the door? It's a nice day outside. She's always on time. There are two sevens in 747. You're going to have a lot of fun. I can't believe it's snowing again. Can you give me John's textbook? 
I'm planning to write a book someday. That's not mine. I think it's Anna's paper. Did you get it? Now let's move to our next punctuation mark which is the semicolon. They are punctuation marks that connect independent clauses to show a closer relationship between the clauses than a period would. They can also separate items in a list that already include commas. For example, the council is comprised of 10 members, colon, 3 from Sydney, comma, Australia, semicolon, 4 from Auckland, comma, New Zealand, semicolon, 2 from Suwa, comma, Fiji, semicolon, and 1 from Hortniara, comma, Solomon Islands, full stop. We'll see few examples. I am here, semicolon, you are over there. I saw a white cat, it was eating a mouse. Bring any two items, however, not any food items. I tried my best, unfortunately, I still failed the test. Call me tomorrow. You can give me an answer then. I needed to go for a walk. Also, I needed to buy milk. I'll be glad to help you. And that is a promise I will keep. They plan to go by bus. However, Kathy decided walking. He walked through the doorway. He would never see Tom again. Did you understand? Next, we will talk about a similar punctuation mark as the semicolon, which is the colon. A colon introduces a quotation, an explanation, an example, or a series. They can also clarify information who emphasize an important word or phrase. For example, few songs, colon, Dear John and the Story of Us. But remember, colons are used to separate units of time and ratios as well. Like, it's 11, 11 a.m. We use colons in here. We'll see a few examples through sentences. It's 2.45 in the morning. She muttered, go away. Tom shouted, it's hot today, isn't it? You can bring three things, food, drink and a gift Julius Caesar once said I come I saw I conquered my sisters are really excited we are going to Disneyland the movie had everything I wanted action and suspense
The recipe is easy peasy. Mix everything and put it in the oven. When we go shopping, I need a few things. Eggs, milk and cheese. Did you understand where we use the colon? We'll go to our next punctuation mark, which is quotation marks. Quotation marks indicate the beginning and end of a quoted passage. They can also show dialogue in fiction. I hope you will be here, he said. I hope you will be here is within quotation marks. He said, I don't care. We'll see a few examples using quotation marks. He said, stop. He yelled, hurry up. Why? I asked, don't you care? Is I don't care all you can say to me? Byung-hoon won't. Mother will be angry. He did some experimenting in his college days. Francis wrote, I don't paint anymore. I will be calm. Richard Burton performed this song Camlet in the 1960. Lama said, the case is far from over and we will win. Let's move to our next punctuation mark, which is single quotation mark. It is same as normal quotation marks, which are double quotation marks, but we will see the difference. Single quotation marks are used to indicate quotations inside of other quotations. Show codes within a quotation and their set of codes in headlines as well. For example, Jesse said goodbye, Ben said. Single quotation marks indicate what someone else have said within other quotation marks. President declares war is over. In here we can see that single quotation marks are also used as headlines. Now we'll see few examples. Candidate promises no more taxes. In the words of the Beatles, let it be. The president urges, don't worry citizens. Who called you Mr. Maine? asked the teacher. The boy said, Mr. Tucker asked me, is that your dog? The red balloon is my favorite story, my father said. She just said, see you later and then left, reported Kylie. When I say immediately, I mean sometime before August.
My mom said the baby started talking. The baby said, Mama. Now we'll move to our last punctuation mark for today. Ellipsis. Ellipsis indicates an omission of words or sentences. It represents a pause or that something has been intentionally left out. In form, the ellipsis is three dots or periods. Would you like sugar for your coffee or And you wouldn't believe the scene. This is how we use the ellipses in sentences. We'll check out more examples through sentences. Hello world. The eagle has landed. Yeah, well, you can just Jealousy is a mental cancer. She opened the door and saw a cake. That is gruesome. Revenge is one thing but he was empty. Filled with rage, a broken heart. Hope is being able to see light despite the darkness. I stopped believing in Santa when he asked for my autograph. Did you understand? Well done. Now let's move to our activities. Add the correct punctuations. Can you read these sentences and add the correct punctuations where it is needed? Well done. Let's check the answers. We had a great time in France. The kids really enjoyed it. Full stop. Some people work best in the mornings. Others do better in the evenings. Full stop. What are you doing next weekend? Question mark. Mother had to go into hospital. Colon, she had heart problems. Full stop. Did you understand why I was upset? Question mark. It is a fine idea. Colon, let us hope that it is going to work. Full stop. We will be arriving on Monday morning. Come on, at least I think so. Full stop. A textbook can be a single quotation marks wall between teacher and class. Full stop. 
the girls apostrophe s father sat in a corner full stop in the words of murphy's law apostrophe colon double quotation marks anything that can go wrong will go wrong full stop did you get them correct? Well done. Now let's move to our final exercise. Add the correct punctuations. Can you read these sentences and add the correct punctuations in the right places? Well done. Now let's check the answers. The grandparents apostrophe job is easier than the parents apostrophe full stop. It looks as if the sun goes around the earth, comma, but of course the earth really goes around the sun, full stop. He neither smiled, comma, spoke, comma, nor looked at me. Full stop. Long ago, comma, in a distant country, comma, there lived a beautiful princess. Full stop. It was my aunt who took Peter to London yesterday, comma, not my father. Full stop. Ruth was invited to the party, comma, but she was ill, comma, so Jane went instead of her. Full stop. Sorry to disturb you, comma, could I speak to you for a moment? Question mark. Is it any use expecting them to be on time? Question mark. John's apostrophe going to sleep during the wedding was rather embarrassing. Full stop. Having lost all my money, comma, I went home. Full stop. Did you get them correct? Well done. This is the end of today's lesson. Today we learned about punctuation marks and how we use them in sentences. Good work. See you again with more wonderful lessons.